Good evening everyone, it's Tom Sydney Bushnell, aka Numbers, here from Sight Club, from the Tom Numbers show, news with Tom Numbers, and top of your game. So, I thought I'd come down for a stroll, give you an update. Um, I wanted to talk about a few things today, and one of them is a quote I came across recently, um, which is, The magic you are looking for is in the work you are avoiding. The magic you are, or the magic you are seeking, is in the work you are avoiding. Now that makes me think of the concept of confrontation, confronting things. Confront is one hundred and five, which is saviour actually. So if you confront things with a pure heart, it will actually save you. And I'll go into that a bit more. But 105 is Inception. Um, Arcturian is 105. But the magic you are seeking is in the work you are avoiding. I.e., one way to look at it is you're not confronting the things that you need to confront. Um, and I'm talking to myself when I'm sharing this with you, but I think it's of value. In fact, I know it is. Um, there's many ways to look at life. There's many ways to decipher and think about things and take action. And we all are different and we all see things through a different lens. Some of us more similar than others but we're still seeing things through a slightly different lens because that's what makes us individual. Um, I see things differently from you. You see things differently from me. And we also have commonalities. We also have things that we do see very closely um, in a similar way, close proximity. But nevertheless, we're all individuals, but nevertheless, we're also all collectively one. One is 34, Grace is 34, DJT is 34, Kick is 34, Leap is 34. Now, I'm going to come back to the, the principle of confronting things, and I'm going to share with you something that's pretty magical what's just happened um, I also wanted to share with you some numbers one of the powerful numbers is 555 five, five. a lot of people will get this in terms of angel numbers I think it means change that one but uh, you'll know a lot of you know the angel numbers uh, very well so put them in the comments um, but 555 five, five, comes to remember, remember the 5th of November, like a thief in the night. It also comes to remember, remember the 5th of November, Westminster Abbey. It also comes to remember, remember the 5th of November, which is 355, plus the 200, which comes to 165 resurrection, and it leaves you with 35. Who was 35th president? So, 555 comes to remember, remember the 5th of November, resurrection 35. 200 comes to Mount Rushmore, 200 comes to Westminster Abbey. That's where Diana officially on the board, her funeral took place. But Westminster Abbey, Westminster's 165 Resurrection. Other Physics, 165. And 35 is Bond. It's also Orb. I get those in my videos. Um, but who was the 35th president? JFK. Now, let's look at 555 even more so. So if you do Tuesday, 
the 29th of May 1917 that comes to 555 which comes to Westminster Parliament Square 355 plus 200 Westminster Abbey or 35 Resurrection at Parliament Square there is a bus stop it's Q, it's the Q bus stop it's not a number, it's Q which is 17 but the actual number or letter of the bus stop is Q and it's at the foot of Abraham Lincoln 123 Silver Gold 123 Eric Trump 123 Missouri 123 You've got the Wizard of Oz the Wizard of Oz is 176 November the 5th is 176 Back to the Future is 176 Level Playing Field is 176 Full Conclusion is 176 Full Disclosure is 176 A Consciousness is 176 One Consciousness I Just do the number one as a digit is 176 175 is Diana Francis Spencer so Tuesday the 29th of May 1917 comes to 555 and that date is the date that JFK was born now something interesting happened. I did a news with Tom Numbers show um, two days ago. So if you're watching, you can still go and watch that. You can subscribe, um, heads up as well. In 24 hours, the price will, for locals will go from 54 to 88 for the year. It's valued at $148 for the year. But right now you can still get it for 54, which is love, which is bond. Uh, bonds, orbs, orbs, yeah. Bonds like, you know, revaluation, currency, etc. Um, all you can get in uh, is valued at $17 a month. Uh, it will go to $8 a month in 24 hours on 26th of October. Uh, but currently it's still at $6. So come and join the party. Um, but go and watch the News with Tom Numbers show that I did about Interstellar and about the phraseology that Murph 76 and Magic 176, Contact 76, Thomas 76, uh, Murph says she figured out the message and uh, she says, it says stay. It says stay is 158, which is remember, remember. And we've been told to remember, remember the 5th of November. She also says, it says stay dad. Dad is nine. It's the letter I, ninth letter. It's also ace. Ace is the top suit in the deck of cards. What ace could that be? But if you do, it says stay dad, it's 167, which is old Harry Rocks, over there. 167 is king of the world, 167 is the day that Trump came down the escalators, and 167 is 24. So remember, remember, 24. What date's that? That's the election next year. Um, So yeah, they're the Kennedy numbers. Um, <clears throat> but I encourage you to watch that video. I'm gonna do probably a follow-up about what happened. But basically, there's some things, some people, some individuals, some entities I've had to stand up to, um, which I've done. And it's amazing how they're not very, um, they don't usually want to be confronted, but you have to. 
Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Well, I've done my part, I've confronted it and the timelines have changed. Um, and this message that I decoded changed. So there's a part in the episode, which I won't spoil for you, I'll let you watch it. Um, which comes to 555. And then the day later, I listened to the recording and it had changed. So the timelines had changed. So what I, the takeaway is I'm understanding that when we, this is a game, this is a simulation. God is 26, game is 26. There are things that we put off. There are things that will take us to the next level. Um, the magic we seek is in the work we're avoiding or the magic we seek is in the thing that we're not confronting. And it's my understanding and experience, I've had it before, but recently, that when we confront things, whatever they are, whoever they are, whether it's, yeah, whatever it is, the things we have to confront are not limited to necessarily time and space. They're not limited to just physical things. Some things are emotional, spiritual, ethereal, interdimensional, whatever they may be, and you know for you what they are, I promise you that when you confront it, the timeline will change and it will change in your favor. And that's my promise to you. That's the universe's promise. It showed me again this because there are some things that come up and you're like, why am I having to deal with this? It's just an irritation. It's a nuisance, but there's a lesson. And the beauty of it now is we're in an accelerated timeline where we can learn these things quicker. Instead of taking years and years and decades to understand things, we can learn them in a matter of hours. So I took action and I saw a timeline in my own timeline and I can verify it. I'll show you the before and after of the recording and you'll be able to witness yourself that it changed, the timeline changed. And so isn't that what we would like? If we can have the ability to change timelines um, timeline is 87 truth, justice. So if we confront the things or the people we need to, or the entities or whatever it is, governments, systems, bullies, whatever it is, lack of disclosure, we confront it. This is what this great awakening period is. We have, we're being pushed into an accelerated cauldron of, or a collider. Am I using the right word? We're in a situation where we have the opportunity to produce outcomes at a far quicker, quicker rate than we ever dreamed possible, really. Um, and, uh, excuse me. And that's one of the blessings of this time. We're able to confront things. And I promise you that when you do, the universe will change and morph in your favor. That's what will happen. And so I'm, I'm grateful for this new, this nuance, this understanding that's come. Um, I probably understood it before, but not to this depth and not to this, well, the beginnings of this depth, I think there's more to go. But if you resonate with my work, just trust me on this, confront the thing that you're not confronting and behind it is the magic and the outcome that you seek this realm has been the only way they can control us is through fear and we're fearful of what if what if this and i'm not exempt from this i do take a lot of things on but i'm human as far as i understand and there are things I've held back on, there's things I've been worried about, things I've not taken action upon. But I realize there are many things I should have confronted before. I've confronted a lot of things, but there's still more for me to confront. And it's my understanding that when you confront in this reality, when you confront in this game, when you confront in this universe, then, you've done your part and it will change literally 
in front of your very eyes for you. And it will actually change the past for you. That's the quantum. But that's the thing that we've got to do. That's the... <clears throat> that's the bit that I'm understanding we have to do. So when President Trump says we need to fight, we need to stand up. Yes, we do. We need to do those things. But I think he's talking even more precisely in our own lives. Um, I can't speak for everyone that's watching right now. But maybe a, some part of what I'm saying there's a kernel of resonance for you. Um, but by confronting the thing that we need to confront, therein lies the magic that we seek. And maybe we'll be confronted with things that we didn't want to deal with. But if we do take it on and confront it, as quickly as it arose, it will quickly materialize or rematerialize into the blessing that we seek instead of letting things linger and, and stagnate and i'm saying this to myself um, that's the great thing of when you can teach and share knowledge you the teacher get to hear the message twice um, so it's a great blessing but confront whatever it is that you need to confront um, or want to confront or feel that you should confront Whatever that is, you know what they are, who they are, what it is, but confront it. And then it will, it will dissipate, it will transmute, it will change before your very eyes. Um, and then you get momentum, then you start to feel like you're making real progress and you're growing in all areas of your life in a positive way. And this is, I think, a big part of this great awakening is we have to confront the things that we need to confront. And when we do, the timelines will change. So I think today's show will be titled Confront the Thing that You Need to Confront and your timeline will change for the better for you and for those around you. So people do talk on shows about timelines changing and I've had experience of it before. I was with Right Side Blonde Rachel last year watching Terminator 2 and Terminator, uh, well Judgment Day, Judgment Day, the spelling of Judgment had changed. It was 129 with the two E's but they dropped the E. A similar thing has happened with the show I did two nights ago with Interstellar and I'll be doing the follow up on that probably tomorrow Oh, <laughs> there you go. <coughs> That's funny. I said tomorrow and I went, whoop, straight. Nearly in a hole, but it, it, I, I, uh, I survived. Um, yeah, I've got evidence now. I've got recorded prior and after of something that changed in that first show. So I would encourage you to subscribe. Watch the first show, News with Tom Numbers. It's from two nights ago um, it's the picture of Interstellar on the front it's actually in the title um, it says stay Interstellar news of Tom Numbers so watch that subscribe you can watch I think the first five minutes or so but to get the full show just click the subscribe button um, and I'll do the follow up on that and going forward you're going to get news of Tom Number well news of Tom Numbers um, that's going to be uh, a main staple of the locals community and the, and the, uh, the subscriber videos that you get there. You'll be getting a minimum of two of those a week. And it allows me to go in depth into certain topics and subjects. And I'm excited by it because it's nothing short of a miracle what's happened in the last 24 hours with me in regards to the recording I did, the audio from the film I used, and then I listen to it the day later and it's changed. It's changed. <laughs> you can go in and listen and, and watch it. It's changed. Um, so in the follow up show, I'll show you, I've got a recording of both and I've listened to them back and forth and it's changed. <laughs> the dialogue has changed. Um, but the first dialogue that was altered goes to 555, which is the JFK code. Space Force 91 POTUS 
JFK Space Force is 118, the Awakening, the Matrix, the Storm. 118 is the very first number I got about my cousin Paul, his date of birth, January 18th. And I got it just a few days after he passed away. Paul Bushnell, 143. I'll be seeing him soon with everyone else. People are coming back, they're going to be resurrected. Morning of the first resurrection. Westminster's 165 resurrection. It's also something else that's not good. But the numbers, bad and good, marry up. So 165 resurrection. There's Westminster. There's also a clip, I need to post this, I'll get a copy of it. But there's a clip of Andrew Bridgen speaking this week, or no, last week, in front of Big Ben. And it, it disappears for a moment. <laughs> It's a brilliant recording and it's, yeah, I'm telling you, November the 5th is going to be biblical. And we get there by confronting the things we need to confront, either physical, if you're being bullied by someone, confront them. If you're being scared by someone, confront them. If you have your own insecurities or issues, whatever they are, confront them. Um, and I promise you that you will reap the blessing on the other side. And it won't be long, you won't have to wait long. It will happen instantly. And in fact, you'll be able to change timelines in your favor from the past. That's the beauty of atonement. Atonement is 105. Quantum is 105. So as my promise to you, if you believe anything that I share with you, and I know you do, and I'm grateful for your love and support, and you're on this journey with me, but trust me, confront the things you need to confront and your life will change and it will change in the blink of an eye. Thanks everyone, much love, God bless. I'll see you, well, tomorrow on the, the news with uh, Tom Numbers show part two, where I will show you, I'll let you hear and see the recording previously and the new recording, how it's changed. Because I'm doing the work, I'm confronting the things that I need to do. Um, I'm confronting the things I need to confront. And even if they don't reply, they know when you've confronted them. And then they have to energetically release all karma and entanglement with you, and it's on them. If you watch my video in Swanage, you'll know a bit what I was talking about. So this has been going over a few weeks, actually but I am confronting it, them, and uh, with the victors. Wolves in sheep clothing cannot prosper anymore in whatever guise they may be. So, all right, everyone, much love. God bless. If you want a, a top up, get your, your Shungite, get your activation products your minerals, your, uh, your magnesium, your iodine. And I will see you all soon. Much love, God bless, take care. Confront the thing you need to confront and your timeline will change in a positive way for you instantly.